how to automate invoice in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create some invoices and automate them. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com and sign in for your account. Once you have did that, you're going to face the site's dashboard of your account. So basically here, this contain or this page will contain all the websites that you have created on Wix. And we're going to be interested in this page because we are going to set up an invoice from a specific website and not for all of those. I'm going to select, for example, Jack's Hotels, for example, this one. I'm going to select it and edit the site. It will open up here at the dashboard of, uh, as you can see, uh, Wix. Once you have it right there, we are going to see the control panel of the website. So at the left side, we have all the items and the uh, parameters or the settings of it. So how we can basically create an invoice? It is very simple. When you see this left side menu, you're going to head over the getting paid item, which is here, and you're going to see a menu. So you can go ahead and see that we have the invoices, the price quotes and pay links and etc. So basically we are going to choose invoices. Right there we are going to set up an invoice. So we are going to get started with the invoices since it is our first time working with it. So you need to activate it into your account. I'm going to click on get started. So we're going to set up the business name, the logo, and also the business email address. So I have put here a random email address that has been in my mind right there. So it is not a uh, whether a uh, true or a real address for me. So I'm going to click on add and continue. This address is made only for the purpose of the video. So basically we have set up the, uh, as you can see, the invoice. We are on the draft mode. So you are going to see here the customer or the contact information. So I'm going to set up a customer, which is going to be here a testing account. We have the email address of that customer and we're going to put up here an invoice title. Go ahead and set up this uh, invoice as you want. You're going to set up the issue date and the due date. So aside from that, you're going to set up some details about that invoice, which are or details are going to concern whether the service that you have made up to the, for example, customer. In our case, we have created a hotel booking website or a hotel management website. So it is going to be concerning the room services or something like that. So I'm going to set up here the invoice title, like here, a uh, room service, for example, or extra, extra room service. So for the product or service, we're going to search here for item. I'm going to add a new item like that and put it a name, for example, extra service. And the description is going to be here. The uh, depends on the um, invoice type that you have created. You're going to set it up and also set up the price of it. For example, I'm going to add this. So the quantity is going to be set here. You can add the price or modify it, write down a description of it and also set up the taxes if are applicable and now we have the add line item you can go ahead and add another item for example and uh, put here the total of the invoice we have the subtotal you can add a discount for the customer also you can request a deposit for example of at least 60 percent right there and here we have this uh, so the notes are going to be here are some additional instructions for the uh, customers. For example, thank you for your interest or some um, 
let's say here remarks that you want to add and here the terms like the due date of the payments and etc so like that you're going to collect for example the uh, or send the invoice to the customer automatically after that you're going to if the customers has paid you for example with cash you are going simply to select here or set up this item or this invoice and click record payment so you are going to record that payment and select the payment method by cash bank transfer check or another thing so this was only for the uh, normal invoice how we can automate these invoices so let's say that we have some recurring invoices and these recurring invoices should not be uh, set up uh, manually each time for example for each customer we are going to create a new not an invoice but we are going to create a recurring invoice also you can go ahead and create an invoice and order so the, the invoice is going to be sent and will generate an order once paid so right there for the recurring invoices you are going to set them up right there by setting up the billing cycle and the end uh, dates for example you are going to set up here a monthly billing and the ends after for example unlimited then you are going simply to create your invoice so here you need to connect a payment method as you can see so we can be able to uh, set up this invoice aside from that you can go ahead and head over another automation type uh, uh, other than recurring invoices you're going to head over the automations from here i'm going to leave this page without saving it is okay so you are going to see here the list of automations that you have we are going to create a new automation and this automation could be searched by name trigger or action so we are going basically right there to type in invoice and then we're going to see the all the automations that are in uh, relation with the invoices here we have some categories for the sell more online which is this category you can go ahead and send a thank you customer or who or thank a customer who pay an invoice so you are going to send uh, an email after the customer has set up uh, an invoice you can also send some reminders to customers before the invoice is due so also you can go ahead and see those and then you are going to set up these automations these automations are like a reminder for the um, maybe here paying the automation or after the payment but for the recurring ones you are going to see them on here on getting paid creating a recurring invoice for an invoice uh, and order so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one